Oh, that's so cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one play. Nice. Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. This is Pepe Prawns, your host here at the Quadcopter Review. And now I know the title was a little deceiving as if we're talking about one specific thing here, but we're not. I'll show you here how, how this has a tendency to be the case in everything. So a lot of these motors all come out of the same factory. They'll change the bell a little bit so, so it makes it unique and different. So this same premise will work on, on a lot of different motors, but my specific issue was was with the Armiton oomph motor, the 1407 motor. If we can get this thing to get into focus, you will see which one we're talking about here. And many people have had the same issue with this motor. There we go. It's the oomph 1407. And what happened is the shaft broke off. I uh, did, you know, the first trick I learned in flying quads, and that's crashing. And I broke two motors, uh, shafts on these motors and waited quite a while. I waited probably a couple months, kept looking at the site, kept saying, you know, out of stock, coming soon, whatever. Never really happened. So basically what I found out is that we can use these Brother Hobby motor bells as replacements for our oomph motors. So so what you do is you get the Tornado T1 1407 bell and you can take it as you'll see here. Let's get it out of the box right quick. Doobie doobie doo. Take her out. Here she is. So this bell fits the oomph motor. A um, little bit different you know look on the bell or whatever but it is the uh, the T1. So we just take her here and we pop her into the motor and the magnets will grab it and there you go. Uh, so what you do of course is you're gonna have to unscrew it. You're gonna have to put your clamp back on there so the bell hangs on. But that right there puts my motors back in to shape. So I'll put a link down below where I got them and how much they were. Um, it's up to you to question, you know, if it's worth changing the bell or just replacing the motors. But for me, I just replaced the bells on them and off we go flying again. So just want to let you know that. And like I said, this will work out for a lot of different motors. So just reach out to who the manufacturer your motor was and ask them if there's a different bell that'll fit it if they are no longer available. And hopefully they can give you an answer and you can get back up in the air. So again, that was a little Tech Tip Thursday. Hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like, comment below. And if you're new, please subscribe. I'm always doing giveaways here on the quadcopter review and as always happy flying